What's going on guys, it's Cam WM. We are back doing the JWM career. Uh, our first game up is going to be against Manchester United. It's been a couple of weeks, but we're playing them in the EFL Cup. Um, I didn't film last week just because of the Marvel Cup stuff going on. Uh, and obviously now I'm back at it filming. We're starting on the left-hand side of midfield at Sellers Park in the EFL Cup. And you know, there's a chance we could win this game. We're starting in the midfield with Will Hughes, with Piate. Uh, the fans look there, they look ready. Round three of the Cup. Let's see what our objectives are. Obviously, it looks very pretty there. I Ian, uh, our objectives are going to be 7.5 rating, one assist, make three interceptions. I'm going to go for three interceptions. Right, we're underway. Let's get it. Uh, it's the first great tackle there. Great tackle to start off with. No messing about, you know. We're going to start pulling the strings in this game. There's no messing about at all. Look at that pass. Great pass inside. Go on. Take him, take him, take him. I'm getting in the box. Finish. Oh, that's Rafael Varane. Man United can actually defend in this game, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> Here we go for the second chance now. A little just picking it up. We're trying to get Will Hughes moving. Ping it. Oh my. It's off the bar. That should have been an assist. That should not. That should be an assist, man. Finish it. Finish it. Oh my god, you're so shit. You are so. How can you need to finish that? We should be 1 0 up, 2 0 up probably. Here we go, another chance now. Can we just mark and Bruno Fernandes out of the game here? Scott McTominay. Oh. Uh, that's going to be a yellow card probably. Nothing. Maybe play on. They probably give it after. I think that was a clean tackle. Uh, let's see what Jack said. Jack said that is an embar that is such a dive. That's embarrassing. Yeah, clearly a dive. I don't know what Scott McTominay is on. He's clearly throwing himself to the floor there. Here we go on the next attack. Great little ball inside. Move it, move it, move it. There we go. Pinging it. Oh my god, the hater, man. He's too good. The hater is too good. I swear to God. But it's still 0-0. 64th minute now. Here we go, moving the ball again. Another little tackle on Scott McTominay. We're letting him know that we're there. You know, we're not messing about at all. I swear to God. It's got Matomo, he's getting away with nothing. Rashford's got it. Now, nah, we're leaving one on him. Oh, that is another yellow card. We didn't get booked for the first one, by the way. So, the ball still hasn't gone out of place. So that's two tackles now. So, really, this should be a red card. Jack says, awful referee. Now, that's just rash. That, no booking, though, I would say. I mean, I think it should, it should be booked twice. Uh, we are going to be booked for that challenge. Uh, shocking how we've not been sent off, but... I think we've just got away with it. There was three challenges there that are easily yellow cards in themselves. I think Rashford just thrown himself to the floor there, personally. Anyway, we go to a penalty shootout. Uh, Ronaldo and Bruno Fernandes miss, so it's just Raksaki's chance to win the game. And he puts it over the bar. That sucks. Um, now it is time for Alex Tellers. He needs to score. If he does not score, then we beat Man United in the cup. A 0-0 draw after full time. Just with Raksaki missing. Tellers scores. <sighs> Now it was up to our turn to take the sixth penalty uh, for Crystal Palace. Um, I'm going to go left. Going to keep it low. No messing about. No chips. No dinks. Just place to keep it the wrong way. And we seal the goal there in the penalty shootout. Comfortable from the spot. Now it's time for Donny van der Beek. He needs to score this. He does. He needs to score this. I'm not controlling the goalkeeper. And he... Oh my god, he saved it. Oh, it doesn't mean we won. Oh, so yeah. Oh. How does it mean we won? Well, we scored anyway. And now I believe it's up to Harry Maguire. He needs to score this. Um, otherwise, then they lose. Um, big Harry Maguire. So much pressure under him. He'll probably do the celebration the knee slide. But he missed it. And we are going through. Harry Maguire bottles it. Let's go. Where's the Paddy Vieira at 99 pace? There it is. Let's go. <laughs> JWM running up to Greater after his penalty save. We scored in the penalty shootout as well. And we're going through to round four of the EFL Cup. Let's go. I mean, let's have a look. Minus 15. How do we get minus 15? We literally had a brilliant game. What the fuck? Okay, now we're going on to the next game, and it's a derby against Brighton. Brighton versus Crystal Palace. Huge game. Uh, M23 derby, A23 derby. Derby that people don't understand. Um, but this is a huge game for Palace in the season. We're starting in the midfield again. There's going to be so much tension. The fans are going to be ready. The whole atmosphere in the stadium is ready. And we need to win this game. You know, we're not doing too well in the Premier League. But we're starting on the left-hand side of that midfield again. Um, and we need to perform against Brighton. Uh, hopefully, they, um, you know, they play shit. I don't know. But anyway, Crystal Palace versus Brighton live from Sellers Park. Hashtag Crystal Palace versus Brighton. The fans are ready. They look absolutely stoked. The guy in a the tank top there. Brink coming out with the mascot. I'm not even sure about that. Let's see our objectives. 7.5 rating. Complete 10 passes in your opponent's half. Avoid losing... Or winning, lose, losing. I'm, I'm going to go for the middle one. Right, let's get into the game. Here we go. Derby time. 14 minutes in. Oh, what is the defence doing? What is the defence actually doing there? We won the down. Paulson scored. But, we, you know, we're not out of this, you know. Into the 24, 29th minute now, sorry. 
And it's Zaha driving, driving. Oh my God, the keeper's actually saved it. How has he saved that? You've got to finish those chances, I swear to God. Half time now and it's 1-0 to Brighton. Not the most entertaining first half performances, but here we go now into the second half. We're moving the ball, Tyrant Mitchell giving it to us. A little fakey, get round him. Ping it, play it, again. Oh my God, that's happened twice now. Robbed of two assists. Two fucking assists I've been robbed of. I'm trying to chase this ball down, but here we go. Now we're going to move it. Into Edward. We're going again. We're playing striker now. Out of Zahar. Go on. Stay on side, you fucking... In. Oh, my... Stay on side, man. Stay on... It's not that hard. Right, we're chasing them down now. We're trying to... We're trying to put the press on, but they're just... The midfield's just not pressing. They're just staying off them. You know, I'm trying to come at them and make these moves. They're just... Tackle. Yes. No. He's actually given a penalty there. How is that a pen? Surely not. No way that's a pen. That's not a pen. I'm sorry. That is not a penalty at all. Wow. Come on, Guaita. Let's go. Great save from Guaita. That is an incredible penalty save. But, I mean, we're still losing. Oh, what is the defender doing there? And it's 2-0. Save the penalty, and then they let that kind of goal in. And that's probably the game and the derby defeat for Jack against Palace. I know he's not going to be... Against Brighton, sorry. He's not going to be happy about that. 94th minute, we get a chance, but it's not enough. And I think that's probably going to be it. Just slowly run. Yep, that's it. Full time. 2-0 defeat to Brighton. That's not great at all. Uh, if you're a Palace fan watching, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how that was a penalty. I didn't think it was a penalty at all, personally. But they've given it minus 15 again because, you know, I don't really understand this. As long as you get the match rating, you're okay. Into our next game now, and it's going to be against Leicester City. We're at Sellers Park again. We're looking to bounce back after our Derby Day defeat. We can't be losing this one, really. Um, Leicester are obviously a decent side, but Palace, you know, we need, we need to bounce back. We need to get into their faces and get this win. Again, we're starting on the left-hand side of midfield, bringing out the mascot, probably telling him that his club's shite. Um, I'm going to go for probably seven match rating. Um, yeah, seven match rating is probably the smartest one because I don't think we're going to get goal or assist. Struggling this season in front of goal, but we move. Here we go again, picking the ball up on the left-hand side into Zahar. He's through, and he's played it back. What? What? You're through on goal, man. You're actually through on goal. Oh, he's in. Please. Oh, what is the defence doing? What is the actual defence doing there? Mark your men. Jesus. Half time, we're 1 0 down from another defensive mistake because the defenders and midfield can't defend. But we move anyway into us again, and it's blocked. They're blocking every single shot. It's actually not fair at all. <sighs> drive, just drive. There you go. Play it. Play it. You're in. You're in. Onside. Finish it. Oh my fucking. Finish that, man. You've been paid all this money to finish this. It's Eze. It's Wormin. Will Hughes play it? Ping it. Blocked again. Every time they block the shot. This is actually infuriating. How are they blocking this every single time? That's going to be full time. We lose the game 1 0. Uh, heartbreak, really. Two defeats on the row. Two defeats on the bounce, sorry. And yeah. We've got seven match rating, 91 minutes played. Uh, distance covered 15.6. That's mad. Passes completed 17. Tackles 1. And accuracy uh, was 85%. Plus 5, which is good because we've got the match rating. But another defeat. Now we're moving into the game against Arsenal, our last game of the episode. Uh, away at the Emirates. We need a win. And it's not looking great at the minute. You know, we're not getting the points we need. We're on two games on the bounce. We've lost. Um, and we need to bounce back against Arsenal. But this is under Mikel Teta's Arsenal, so maybe we might get a point. Uh, the match objectives for today are going to be 7.5 rating, one assist or goal, or 75% pass accuracy. I think I'm going to go the pass accuracy because I think we're quite good at passing. You never know. Here we go, four minutes in. Ball comes into the box, and it's a fucking goal already. This is so shit. What the fuck is happening to Crystal Palace? Can't defend for shit, man. <sighs> I've given the ball away there. I've won it back. Driving it. I'm just going to drive with this. Out wide. Give it me again. Give it me. I'm driving. I'm driving. And I'm not doing that again. This is why Jack doesn't do stepovers, by the way. Anyway, into the box now. And that's a great tackle. I bet I thought the referee was going to blow that for a pen there. We're driving again. We're basically just picking the ball up and driving him, giving it to Zahar and hoping that he does something. Just run at them, Wilf. Run at them, man. Turn. Finish. Yes. Oh, my God. He's actually scored. Edward has leveled it. Let's go. He missed so many chances in the last game, and I needed him to score this one, and he's gone and scored. What a finish. What a bit of play. Driving through the midfield. Give it to Zahar. 
But now they are on the attack again. I've gone for the slide tackle, but I've missed it. But what's the defence doing? And literally like a minute later, they've actually gone and put themselves back ahead. That is shocking. <sighs> Give it me. Drive. Just, I'm just going to keep driving. Ping. Is that in? No, that's wide. Oh, my God. We've still got time. There's still a lot of time in this game, you know. Shoot, Will. Will. Oh, my God. How has he saved that? Gone for the header. Oh, my God. How has he not scored that, man? How has he not scored that? That's... Oh. Play it. Go on, in. Wolf, run. Oh, that's a ping. You're in. You're in. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run. You're in. Please finish. Fucking hell, man. Finish. Finish the ball. That's just such a. And we lose the game two one. I mean, it's so frustrating when you're playing like this and like the players just don't finish the ball. You have to finish the ball. I'm giving you chances as a midfielder. This is why I don't get assists. Because hit the bar twice. Put him through on goal. Don't score. Put another one through on goal. Don't score. Wilf, Edward, need to score the goals if you want to stay up in this league. But anyway, we lost the game. Uh, let's have a look at the stats. 7.4 rating. 15.6 covered again. 28 passes. 90% pass accuracy. And two tackles. For a midfielder, that is actually a very good performance. But it's minus 15 again because we didn't get the match rating. Which makes no sense. You know, three objectives. But if you get one... If you missed two, oh, I don't even know anymore. Anyway, that is going to be it for the episode. I'm going to do some uh, perks up and just get myself up. I'm going to put some perks on uh, shooting because we need to start scoring goals. It's not happening for us. We're four episodes in. We've only got two assists and we've probably got more yellow cards than we have assists. So I'm going to be putting <laughs> this up. Definitely, 100%. Finishing and volume, putting the four skill points on them. And hopefully in the next episode... We get a win, we get a goal, we move back up. We are currently 16th in the table, uh, eight games, six points. Next game up is against Newcastle, so hopefully that is an easy three points for the boys. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, like the video if you have enjoyed. Subscribe down below if you are new. And yeah, peace out. There are more episodes coming soon, so watch out. Peace out.